Dunder Mifflin, this is Ryan. Oh, hi, David. Long time no talk. Through the temp agency, actually. Uh, I got that. I, I, I know that. David, David, you don't have to yell. David, can, can I just, let, let me just tell, okay. Uh -huh. No, I, okay. Right, please hold. He just made the list. I don't think you're a very good person. And forgive me, but I feel like I've said this to you before. I don't like you very much. Well, a lot of people would say that I'm a better match for Kelly than Ravi is. Oh, come on, Ryan. Really? Ravi's way better. For Kelly? Yeah, man, you're insane right now. Ravi's the whole package. I've never met Ravi personally, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, just having knowing you a short while, Brian, that I prefer Ravi. And again, I've never even met the guy. Hey, uh, where'd you decide to take Karen tonight? Anna Maria's. What's the occasion? Six month anniversary. What? Nothing. I think uh, we all kind of thought you guys were just like hooking up. No, we've been dating for six months. Uh, she might mention an email that I wrote a while back. Um, oh, right. I remember that one. She read it to me. She said she's not really ready to date somebody in the office, but she really likes you as a friend. I figured. That's cool. I don't I wouldn't want to be in an office relationship anyway. How's my favorite branch doing? All right. Ronnie was blech. Things were an all-time sad here. But then I got an email from Ryan that he was coming back to town, and I called the temp agency, and I told them I will pay you any amount. Just give me Ryan Howard. Give him to me. I want him. I need him. Can't put a price tag on friendship. And if you could, it would be $22.50 an hour. And you got a goatee. I did. Did you get that after you helped me move and you saw mine? Yes. Goatee. Fire the guy. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. It's great to see you, Kev. You too. I'm keeping a list of everyone who wrongs me. So when I'm back on top, they'll be sorry. Kevin just made the list. Jim. I want to apologize for how I treated you last year. I lost sight of myself and now that I've quit the rat race, I realize there's so much more to life than being the youngest VP in the company's history. I've even started um, volunteering, giving back to the community. Oh, that's great. You're talking about your court-ordered community service? I don't need a judge to tell me to keep my community clean. But he did, right? All right. All right. Hey, guys. What's happening? How's my favorite branch doing? Hey, wake up. Let's have some fun. We're in Florida now. Hey, you. I'm so glad this is happening. I actually came to your door twice last night. Come on in. The water's fine. Oh, not cool! So it plays on the infinity thing without being obvious, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd love to do, like, a color version. Just bring a little color I to I like it a lot. Room. It's clear and subtle at the same time. It's really good. You have a real talent for this stuff. Thanks. I'd love to talk to you about it more. That'd be great. Do you want to go out to dinner tonight? Oh, is it? Or something you, nice. No. What? Um. I just. I'm sorry. I just wanted to have dinner. I'm uh, I'm, I'm dating Jim. You're kidding. We're together. That's great. I. That's awesome. Yeah, um, great. 
So let me, um, yeah. let me look at these. Okay, great. Cool. Great. I guess he can't get any girl he wants. Stanley Hudson. Ah, oh, Julius, how's it going? Great, 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 great. Hey, Stanley, it's so good to see you, too. <laughs> I'd like you fellas to meet Ryan Howard. Hi. Yeah. I'm gonna let Ryan do a little pitch for you while I do my crossword puzzle, Ryan. Um. Hi. 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 Hello, Ryan. Hi. What do you have for us? Oh. <laughs> and you just said, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> You sounded like <laughs> my niece, and she's six months old. <laughs> that is so funny. Why is Daryl here? He works in the warehouse. I invited him. It's not a party. Daryl, back downstairs. This is the information you need. This information here? Yeah, you're right. I don't need this. Okay. Mm. Hey, come on. Um, see you later tonight. I got plans later. Okay, bye, honey. You know what? I think you're attractive, and I want to sleep with you. What about Kelly? You read my mind. Is this a joke? Yup. Yeah, I created a website. Look, at the end of the day, Apples to apples flying at 30,000 feet. This is a paper company, and I don't want us to get lost in the weeds or into a beauty contest. I told you, I don't want you doing these things in here. You can use your own office or do it in the hall. Kelly. Oh, hello, Ryan. You look well. I wanted to say I'm sorry for treating you bad the past couple of years. I was in my mid-20s, and I was going through a lot of stuff. I think I never really processed 9-11. Um, I want you to know I've changed. Cool. We should get a drink later, catch up. Pick me up around eight. Oh, that is so sweet. Um, but I'm dating Daryl still, and we're like crazy in love, so. That, um, cool. Um, well, maybe I'll see you around. It's a small office. I think this is really gonna help. You can just hold up here one second. Hey guys, just a quick announcement, if I could have everyone's attention. I just figured you needed a place where you could concentrate and not be bothered by bothering people. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. Your new office. How great is that, right? For a job well done. Well, not done. I will, uh, I will do my work right mm -hmm. now. I will stay late tonight. Right. Um, I'm very sorry about everything. <laughs> you're a good kid. You know when it gets bigger once you're in there. Enjoy it. Is there internet? Brian, just out of curiosity, how much do you get paid here? $60,000 a year. You get paid by the year at the bowling alley. What do you make, secretary? Back to work, shoe bitch. Can I start talking? Is this thing on? Give me, give me a signal when you want me to start. And now from my old hometown, Scranton, Pennsylvania, my former boss, Michael Scott. Hey, I just think you should know that one of my salesmen beat your stupid computer. So take that ass. Always a jokester. How about that image? Crystal clear. Thunder Mifflin, this is Ryan. Phyllis is not in right now. Would you like me to transfer you to her cell phone? Apparently, in business school, they don't teach you how to operate a toaster oven because some smart, sexy temp left his cheese pita on oven instead of timing it for the toaster thing. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I guess they don't teach how to operate a toaster oven in business school. That's exactly what I said. Hey, did you miss that day there, Ryan? Were you absent? To toaster oven 101. You failed? I'm so sorry. My favorite branch. How's everybody doing? Just checking out where I'm going to be pretty soon when Pam gets back. It's going to be close quarters. going to be a lot of tension. For you, I'm with Daryl. This looks like where I'll probably do my push-ups every day. Is that supposed to impress me? Okay, should we get started? Oh, yeah, let's get started because, uh, yes, because it was very serious business. Yep, and, um, exactly. Have have this business. is a business meeting. Business meeting. Fire! Ah, stop that! That's right! That's oh, right! Fire me. guy! Fire Don't guy. start any fires! Fire right? guy! <laughs> you weren't here for that. Here for what? When he started Look the fire. how big he is. Look at you. You are so mature and old and... Little man now. You're like our little okay, man. Little old man boy. I drink like a hundred ice macchiatos a day and practically nothing else. Wow. There's a really cool coffee place, Jitters, at the Steamtown Mall. You ever been there? No. You've never been to Jitters? Mm -hmm. Ryan, you are so dorky. Give me your number so I can text you. Um. Come on. Can I have an email address? Leave that off, but I just thought you should know. Mm -hmm. I think something a little fishy is going on. A little fishy? Yeah. I mean, I've been noticing them all day. I just think it might be... That little girl is a child. I don't want to see you sniffing around her anymore this afternoon. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Boy, have you lost your mind, because no, no, no. I'll help you sorry, find it. Sorry. What you looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you if you don't stop sniffing after my child. Okay. Stanley yelled at me today. That was one of the most frightening experiences of my life. And started the fire! It was always burning since the world for turning! Ryan started the fire! It was always burning since everybody was turning! I can't believe I started the fire. Hey, 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 this is fun. A lot of fun. I know. Can I give you a compliment? I'm really impressed by how much you've grown since I met you. It's like night and day. You should move down here with me. Yeah. We could be roommates. Really? We could get a dog. We could go to R-rated movies. <laughs> and who knows? I mean, you're a guy, I'm a girl. Yeah. Maybe in six months. Six months? See. Oh, okay. I'm in love with Kelly. It's whom when it's the object of the sentence and who when it's the subject. That sounds right. Well, it sounds right, but is it? How did Ryan use it as an object? As an object. Ryan used me as an object. I don't like when my clients call me to help them use the website. I'm not seeing commissions on that. I hear you, Stanley. That is a great observation. Problems like that will not happen when we launch Dunder Mifflin Infinity 2.0. When will that be? TBD. Phyllis. Did the police solve the problem with the... Yes, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, the social networking feature of the Dunder Mifflin Infinity website was infiltrated by sexual predators. I don't understand why our website needs to have social networking at all. Yeah, I actually have to agree with Dwayne on that one. It's all about creating a one-stop consumer experience, all right? You're chatting with your friends. You're talking about the latest music, about the election. All of it is happening in our virtual paper store. And then an older gentleman asks you boxers or briefs. I don't get the big fuss here. I like the site. If I had created a website with this many problems, I'd kill myself. Do you have a question, Kelly? Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? Right. Answer me this, though. What? Was it worth it? Was it worth no. the time? Was it really? Worth it? I'm really yeah. sorry. Right. The fire guy. Yeah. <laughs> the fire guy. <laughs> Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Ryan started the fire. Yeah.